Tiger and Bugs, welcome to a new month. So, I'm gonna start. We're gonna do a lot of kicks today. We're doing a lot of kicks in the second half of your form. So, we're gonna warm up the legs. You need a deck of cards, or you can always like find them online. Just go to like Google and search virtual card deck or something like that. There'll be a ton that pop up. So, just pick one. Any way you want. Um, I'm gonna have a picture of what each thing is. Hopefully, I remember correctly because I left the notebook with picture and it's elsewhere, but here we go. So, hearts are squats. So if you get a heart, you have to do that many squats, however many is on the card. Like, if I got nine of hearts, this is nine of diamonds, but you get the point. I have to do nine squats. If you get, if I got the queen of hearts, I'd have to do ten squats, because all face cards are ten for the purpose of this, and aces are ones. Okay, so hearts are squats, diamonds are, thank you, high knees. So what you're going to do, it's like we're running in place and we're going to is that every time one comes up. Okay. Alright, so we have squats and high knees, and clubs, I think they're clubs. I always mix up clubs and spades, but... So that one, you're going to do, man, I'm trying to remember, aha, knees to elbows. So what you're going to do is take your knee and touch it to your elbow, the opposite elbow, like that. Your goal is to go fast, like that. If you have to, you can touch like your forearm, that's fine, but don't do this, because that's nothing, okay? Don't like bend your whole body over to reach, bring your knee up, that's the point, like that. Alright, last one, spades, is lunges. So if you get a spade, you have to have many lunges. Alternate sides, that way you're not supposed to Alright, I'm going to give you like three minutes. Try to do as many as you can, while still doing it right, okay? Alright, go.
So before we can start the second half of your form, we need to work on some kicks that are going to be in the first part of your second half of your form. So, everybody start this. Alright, we're going to do back leg, round our six. When I, when I count one, chamber, sorry, chamber, two, kick, three, re-chamber, four, down. Okay? And back leg. So land forward, and then step back. One, two, three, four, land back, step back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, now the other side. Other leg. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. do them a little bit smoother, all right? So I'm just going to count and you're going to throw that kick. You're not going full intensity or full power yet. We are working on intensity this month. So right now, you're, we got like level 1 to 10, right? 1 is next to nothing. 10 is as much as you can possibly have. Intensity can include your warrior phase, your Kia, and your lockout. Those are the three main things you need to have. Lockout is when, if you're hitting a target, or even if you're not hitting a target, you tighten up as you'd be hitting the target. A lot different than this, right? You tighten up and hit. It looks like you're hitting something. It's called martial intent. All right. So now we're at like a level like four. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One. Two, three, four, five. Now, you're going to do it at like an eight. It's like almost there. So you can Kia. I'm not going to Kia right now because it's the middle of the day. Neighbors outside and they're going to think I'm. I don't know. My neighbor. I don't. My neighbors next to us don't like us very much. So I just don't want to be loud. Okay. So I'm going to count. You are going to Kia. A little bit, but not like you're not all the way there yet. You have some lockout, but not that much lockout. Okay. All right. Start the dance. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. All right, switch sides now, full intensity. Start this, I got one, two. So you should be keying all the way. As much lockout as you can in your warrior phase. Three, four, I got other side. One, two, three, four, I got Nice, now the other kick when you work on our side kick, so we're gonna do the same thing. Trying to count for the first one, we're going to chamber kick, three chamber down, except we need to light up side kicks. Our forms, you're gonna get in your right stance. I'm gonna start in this one because it's my better leg. Slide up, chamber, kick, chamber, down. Don't switch stance. So, like, don't step back. Stay in this stance. We're gonna slide up again. So, if you need to, you can slide up, kick, and then, like, shuffle back. That way, you don't run out of room. But, go to this. Ready? One, slide up, two, chamber, three, kick. Four, chamber, five, down. Then it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One more. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. One. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we're going to do like a little four intensity, all right? So you're going to slide out and side kick. You're doing it smooth, but like barely any lockout, if any. No key on, no worry your face. 
Okay. Get this thing out. One, two, three, four. Other side. One, two, three, four. Other side. Now level eight, like almost there. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. This time, full intensity. Okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so now we're going to practice. You are going to get your guard in. You are going to do five on each leg. Okay? For each kick. So let's say I want to start with RNS kicks, back leg RNS kicks. I'm going to do one for every level intensity. So I'm going to start with one, and then we're going to go to two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to switch legs, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then do the same thing with side kicks. All right? Go. Now we're gonna put all those kicks into the part of our form. So it starts at that take knee spear, but I'm gonna face that way that we can see what I'm doing. Okay. So right now, that house is the front. All right. So I'm here. I'm gonna show first, and then you can do it. Okay. So I'm here. I want you to stand up, and it goes in front of my head towards the back. Okay. Now my back leg is going to do a roundhouse kick. Land forward. I'm going to slide up. Front leg, double side kick, so low, high, low, high, okay? Slide up one more time, hook kick, and land, we're going to be going that way. So I'm going to do it again. I'm taking a spear, vertical kick back, 
back leg or my right leg roundhouse kick. That same leg, or my left leg will slide up. Right leg, side kick, side kick, slide up again, right leg, hook. Alright? Now, do it with me. Ready? So, when you kick me here, you are working up your left knee stand. Here, when you kick me up, turn face the back. Our right leg is in the back, or facing the front, but our back leg right now. There's a roundhouse kick. We slide up, front leg, side, side, and slide up, front leg, hook. All there is to it. So, your job is to practice that on your own. I want you to take the time to make sure you've got it down. Don't like fluff your kicks and make them look like that or like that. Make them good kicks. Deal? Just practice that a few times on your own. Go. Now we're gonna add in back in the intense intensity. So you're gonna start at the take knee spear. You're gonna do the take knee spear and Kia, turn your head and do the kicks with as much intensity as you can. All right, we're just gonna do a level 10 for now, okay? I want you to get that lockout where your face and Kia is in there. Okay, pet peeve of mine, real quick. When people Kia on every move, it's annoying, okay? We do what's called phrasing, which is like basically one fight of your form. For example, if I was to take a phrase from, I tried from five to the very beginning, fluff, 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 fluff. That's one phrase, so I'd key on that punch. All right, so you key at the beginning, you key at the end of each phrase, and at the end. So like, and I key there, and then, fluff, 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 boom, 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 and I key there, and then, fluff, kick, kick, I key at the spear, and then I turn, and I make key on my first kick because it is in a new direction. So I can see here. I have to slide up, side to side, and then I can key on my hook kick. And I said, so that'd be the end of the phrase. All right, so just don't like, key on, key on. it's really annoying. If you watch someone do their form and they key on every single move, it just gets frustrating. All right, your intensity doesn't come from the key. It can add to it, but if your karate looks like this and you add in a key, it's still not intense. Okay, focus on the other parts too. All right, go.
Now we're going to move on to chucks. Now they've got our form with kicks out of the way. We're going to chuck. So we're going to start by warming up our wrists. So with both chucks, bend forwards. Our wrists and get our mind in length. Chuck, headset. Headset, I mean headspace. Forwards. All right, now we're going to spin backwards. Backwards with one hand, forwards with the other. This is like when we do down ups, or if we do alternating down ups, one hand has to be spinning down while the other one's spinning up. So we start here, that's like probably the hardest part. Then the rest are gonna be easy. Now switch, so the one going forward is going back, and one's going back is going forward. It's kind of hard to see that they're going opposite directions, but hopefully you can see it when I slow down. And catch. Alright, now, helicopters. Try to keep it as flat as you can. Like if there's a wall above you, you wouldn't hit it. Now, a lot more rest. Alright, now catch. We're going to work on inverted figure eights. You might already know this. That's okay, I'll give you an extra challenge. If you don't know it, I'm going to show you how to get there. See, we got all these types. We're going to start with one, okay? Start spinning it up, okay? You're going to do three spins on top. One, two, three. Then you're going to flip it and go down and do one, two, three. Up, down, two, three. One, two, three, down, one, two, three. Now, once you think you're comfortable with doing that, like this isn't tricky, switching between them isn't tricky for you here. We bring it down to two spins, okay? One, two, two, one, two. Keep going. Okay, now, one. Now, one would seem like that's the end result, but it's really not. So just one, 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 one. Now we bring it to a half. Here's what a half looks like. It does that spin, and then when it continues it, it's going into the bottom. So when we do a full one, it looks like that, and then goes down. But it does this half spin, and then goes down, up, down. So you just don't let it finish the spin. That way it's kind of like the coming down is part of the swing. Like that would be like the end of my full circle. And then I'd go here, and that would be the end of my full circle. So it's kind of weird, but you're basically just doing half a swing and then coming down to the bottom, which is hard to get used to. So if you can't do this, I want you to keep working on that. Now, if you can only do these with one hand, like your left hand isn't as smart, or your right hand isn't as smart, and you can only do it with one hand, I want you to practice on doing what we just worked on with that hand. So like the up, the down, two, three, two, one. You can do it sort of like eight, seven, six, seven, four, three, two, one, whatever. As long as you've got this, if you don't have this yet, with both hands, we're not going to move on. Keep working on that. All right, so if you can do it with both hands, one at a time at least, you're going to bring it up to both hands at once. You're going to start here, and you're just going to go both hands at once. Working on that. This can get tricky. Okay. You might want to start with one hand, like start with your good hand and get it going. Good rhythm. And then take add in your other hand. And they naturally kind of want to go together because that way your hands are doing the same thing. Okay. Try not to hit yourself in the head. If you have foam trucks, it's beneficial for this. If you don't, that's okay. Just be careful. Doing that. All right. So if you've got that down, like if you've already done this, you get an extra challenge. If you haven't and it's still confusing, keep working on it. Basically, guys, I'm not trying to like, I'm just trying to give levels in case you already learned something in blue belts or the last time you did checks. So I want you to work on one hand if you can't do that yet. The other hand, if you've got it down with one hand, doubles. And if you can do this, here comes the tricky part, okay? This one is called alternating inverted figure eights. 
So basically one starts at the top, while the other one's at the bottom, okay? So the best way to start this is you start with one, and it, you start the other one and it goes to the bottom. So you know how we usually start in the top? Well, I always start in the top. We're going to start one, it's going to start in the top. I'm just going to do this slow so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to start in the top, and then when it gets to the bottom, this one's going to start. And they're offsetting each other. It takes a lot of practice, so a lot of times what happens is you get this going, they're going good, and then all of a sudden they start doing the same thing again. We don't want that. Or one of them just like goes off the rails. I do that a lot. So it takes time. You want to start super slow. Start with one, comes down to the bottom, and this one goes up top. Bottom, top, bottom, top, top, bottom, top. And then you try to go faster. So that's your challenge. We, now everybody can do this part. We're going to work on, before we started last month, you know, we got the up downs and all that jazz. I'm pretty sure we ended at the high block punch. So next, we're going to take our back leg, front kick, front leg, front kick again, and we're going to land in a low block. I started with the wrong side, that's okay. We're going to be here, front kick, front kick, low block. Now, what we need to win that, this is the next piece uses it. So first, we're going to do the feet. There are my feet. We're here. You want to turn, step in with this one foot, and step out with the other foot. Like that. I'll do it one more time. We're here. This is called roll and step, by the way. Roll in. I always thought it was roll and, but it's not. It's roll and step, and it's named after Roland Osborne. He does this in his horns. This foot comes back, this foot comes out. Practice that a few times. You can do it both ways too. And out, and out. Now, we've got that. So let me make it straight. Okay, now that we've got that, we're going to go from here. We're going to do that step, and while we do that step, our front hand is going to be in the position. Like that. So start here, step in, step out. And catch. One more. Here. Step in. Step out. Okay, now the extra challenge. If you've already got there, you're like, that's too easy. You can do both hands. In, step out. And if that's too easy, both hands alternate. Okay, now I suggest everyone starts with this. Because you're spinning your body and it makes it more confusing. And then you can go to this and you still do this. But start with one, okay? Alright, I'm just going to give you like one minute, practice that on your own. Go. Alright guys, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something new. Remember we're working on intensity, and we are working on modesty, which we didn't talk about today, but I'll talk about that next class. Uh, remember, there are always Zoom classes you can join, if you ever feel so inclined. Um, other than that, have a great week. I'll see you guys later.